Hello. Hello. Are you? How are you, class? Hello, how are you doing today? Teacher. How are you? Fine, Hold on, let me connect my camera. How was the rain today? I'm tired, teacher. You're tired? Yes. Yeah, me too. I. Me too. <laughs> Man, I was driving for two hours today with the rain. Oh. In my cars, uh, uh, I have a co-worker in vacation for 15 days. Oh. Is yes, is I have tired. You have to do his job. Yes, I. Uh, programming the vacation is for me is in the August. Mm -hmm first week of us because today is very cold the day I had more plans I don't realize it you you have you have more plans yes it's, it's very a lot of plans for finish I do not finish my plans because I requirements in the warehouse is uh, very much. Yeah. Oh. Well, that happens all the time. Yes. Chance demand. Okay, let me check one thing. Oh, thank you for one moment. Teacher, yes. I had a question is, I don't, uh, I have problem with the, the question in exam in inter because I don't answer the question for, who do you say is uh, the search, who do you say is, uh, a uh, report speech report speech mm -hmm. is is a problem in the exam <laughs> intermediate is i don't i don't understand uh, how do you say it in in report speech because uh, i use it uh, okay i i use it uh, in is an example a uh, sorry sorry is uh, you you can project the exam report speed is I I I don't understand do the, the, the problem okay but we could do that a little bit later because we have to finish this lesson and we'll do it. And I think we will okay. do the exams. Thank you. Teacher. We, we will Thank do you. them. We will do them. No problem. We will do them together. Okay. Thank no you, problem. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's, I'm going to share my, welcome everybody. Hello, hello, JJ, Sara, Marielos, Milton, Sirhan, Katia, welcome hello, to the class. Okay, okay so we're going to- Good evening. Good evening. 
Thank you, right. teacher. Okay, look, instructions. Match sent. Do you see my 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 desktop? My do you see my thing? Yes, yes, we we can see. Okay, good. So it says match the sentences with the illustrations. Read the sentences and type either A or B according to the picture. Just type the letter in. No capital letter or period is needed. This morning, I was on my way to work. Would that be A or B? B. Letter B. Letter B, yes, I was. There's like, there's a continuation there. This morning, I was on my way to work. When? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Last night I was telling a joke at a dinner party. A. A, dear a. a. Definitely that's A. I was backing my car out of the garage. I crashed into my neighbor's car. B. Either B. I got to the punchline. I knocked a glass of water on the floor with my hand. A. Either a. a. She had never parked in front in, in front, no, it's with an, in front of my driveway. Letter B. B. Letter B. I noticed that everyone laughed. I wasn't sure if they were laughing mm -hmm. at the joke or at me. Letter, Letter A. 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 Letter A. I started a joke. Okay, let's listen to an interview with actor Tom Wiley. What jobs does he talk about? Just type in the job he mentions. No capital letter is near you. It's no capital letter or period is needed. Let us listen. I don't listen, teacher. I Sorry. can I can't hear. I can't hear. I mean, you didn't you just now? become a star overnight. Yeah. Listen to an yeah. interview yeah, with actor Tom okay. Wiley. Listen to an interview with actor Tom Wiley. What jobs does he talk about? Welcome back, everyone. We are talking to Hollywood star Tom Wiley. Before the break, we were talking about your life, Tom, before you became a big star. I mean, you didn't just become a star overnight. You struggled for many years. You can say that again. Tell us a little about it. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, I think I must have worked 20 or 30 different jobs. Really? That's a lot. Well, in the beginning, I couldn't find steady work as an actor, so I had to do something to put food on the table. You have to eat, right? That's interesting. So, what kinds of jobs did you have? A little bit of everything, I guess. I worked as a taxi driver, in a department store, and painting houses, to name a few. I wasn't good at any of them. I think I ended up getting fired from most of those jobs. Oh, yeah? Come on, tell us a few stories. This is so embarrassing. Well... One time I was working for a big department store in Chicago, in the luggage department. It was so boring. I mean, we didn't have many customers during the day, and that's when I worked. Sometimes, when I got sleepy, I used to lie down behind the luggage racks and take a nap. So, what happened? Well, one day I got caught by my boss, and he fired me on the spot. It was terrible. Then there was the time I decided to paint houses. You know, you have to climb these high ladders to do the job, right? Well, it turned out that I was afraid of heights. The first time I climbed up a ladder, I got dizzy and fell and broke my wrist. No. Yes. But the worst thing was that when I fell, I knocked the paint over and it came down all over my co-workers. So, naturally, I got fired again. Any other war stories? Well, you're not going to believe this, but I got hired as a cab driver. 
I drove a taxi, but that only lasted a few days. Did you get fired? How did you guess? On my third day, I had an accident. Luckily, no one was hurt. My passenger was fine, but it scared me to death. That was enough for me, and that was the end of my days as a driver. It seems you're a little accident prone. It's a good thing you made it as an actor. Yes, I guess you could say that. Thanks for sharing your stories with us. Coming up after the break, we'll talk with Tom about his latest movie, scheduled for release in September. Okay, so what jobs does he mention? Taxi driver. A taxi driver? Let's say a taxi driver. What else? Um, department store. Clerk. Department. Department store. Clerk. And what else? House painter. House painter. House painter. House painter. Do you know what is a department store? Yes. What yeah. is a department store? Um, is when like a man, they receive yeah. a lot of boxes it's like and a then I think that is like Simon. Excuse me for my camera in one moment. Um, yeah, okay, because, okay, look, there's a difference between, for example, there's a difference between Simon Yes. There's a difference between Simon and um, Walmart. I'm sorry, Price Mart. Yes. Okay. So Simon is a department store, correct? Yeah. Right. Yes. Why? Because. Because it's... they receive a lot of boxes and then uh, they they put the product in different is, is stations uh no actually Simon is a department store because they have many departments they have okay. babies department women's department um Technology sport. department, sports sport. department, yes. Candy department. Mm -hmm. Le electronic. Yes, yeah, electronics. Mm -hmm. Baby department. What is the difference between Price Mart and Super Selectos? It has one department because they they sell um they sell food or you buy in this place mm -hmm. you can yes. need a membership okay but like have you noticed that in the majority of the things in price mart you can't only buy one thing you have to buy the pack yes only only buy for that product. Teacher. Yes. In the in selectors, I don't have person for some for areas. Because, areas. Areas. Because they they don't have the personal is for the attention or 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 games. Uh, in this uh, Siman, they have first. Okay, really, but so yes, but it's really not. It, it's not really. Some. It's not really the staff. It's 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 like what it says. The department store. When you go to Siman, you know, like uh, Milton said, you can buy clothes or you can buy electronics or you can buy things for your kitchen. Uh -huh. So there are many different departments in Siman. That's why it's called that department store. Okay. Like, for example, if you go to um, Curacao, you don't 
in Curacao, you only find electronics and furniture. It's not a department oh. store. But Siman really has everything. It has clothes, it has toys. And the has, grocery store. And the grocery store. Now it has grocery store too, I've seen. Teacher, in the example in, in Albert, uh, you, you said department store clear. What is clear? Sorry. Clerk, yes, cajero. Clark. Oh, okay, okay. But listen, Thank so, you. no, you're welcome. So what is the difference between Super Selectos and Price Mart? Because I think that in the Price Mart, there is a lot or there is a more than a department. Okay, let, 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 let me give you an example. If I only want, if I only... Thank you, who had the dogs. <laughs> okay, if I only want one Coca-Cola, one can of Coca-Cola, can I buy that in Super Selectos? Yes. Can yes. I buy that in, in Price Mart? No. 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 The difference is in, in, Excuse me, I'm sorry, no, who has no, the no. dogs? Me, okay. no. Okay. Good evening, sorry to be late. No, no worries, no worries. Okay, so can, can you buy one can of Coke in... In price mark? Oh. No, no, you can't. You can buy a lot of things. Yes. So, like I said, in price mark, you buy the pack or six, 12, like 24. A, how is called my Oreo in English? My Oreo. Whole store. Whole store. Whole. W H O L E. W. Okay. Ah, okay. A whole oh, store. Whole significa entero. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Por eso, eh, no sé si han oído usted una vez, pero los gringos tienen un dicho bien famoso que dicen que es el mejor invento desde que el pan ya viene cortado. Como el pan de caja. Mm -hmm. Y la razón es porque antes el pan se vendía, el, el loaf, el, el, se vendía entero, la, el pan de caja. Oh. El whole, por eso se llama a whole bread, que es a complete oh. bread. Okay. And, and the problem was that people ate the bread and you bite, you, you take the piece with your hand. So somebody invented, hey, I'm going to slice and cut the bread. <laughs> And it's one of the biggest inventions in American history. Yes. Okay, so, um, so yes, the two are stores. Yes, the two sell, sell food. The difference is that um, Price Mart is a whole store. So if you only want one Coca-Cola, go to Super Selectos. You can't go to Price Mart. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you only want one beer, go to Super Selectos. You can't go to Price Mart. All right, so that's the difference. Just that's the difference between a department store, a whole store. Yes. A supermarket. What is a grocery store? Grocery store. Mm. It's like a grocery store, like a 7 like Eleven? Uh, no. It's like a what? It's not an example. 7 Eleven? Vegetables. Yeah. Comestibles. Mm -hmm. Tienda de conveniencia es la cosa. Tienda de conveniencia. Mm -hmm. En El Salvador es mini super. <laughs> The mini super. All right, good. You know the only thing I like about Simon? Which one, teacher? The only thing I like about Simon is the chocolate, the Hershey's. Mm, they have a lot of kinds. No, but um, do, do you know the Hershey's chocolate? Yes. Yes, 
saying no. You are on mute, teacher. Sorry, thank you. Hershey's chocolate, there's this big bar. Yes? Mm. That in Super yeah. Selectos is like $4 or $3.75. I don't know why in Siman is always $1.99. Really? Yes. I that's didn't know nine. that. $1.99. Yeah, yes, that's the only reason why I go to Siman. Yeah, it's more cheaper. Yes, I don't know why, but you know which one I'm talking about, the big Hershey's. That's new for me. Yes, it's it, always it, it, $1.99. Is Hershey, is Hershey ma made in, in China? Maybe. No, it's the original. It's the original with almond. <laughs> no, it's the original Hershey with almond. It's very, very good. Good point. Yeah. So <laughs> next time you, you you're go to Simon, remember, go. Go buy Hershey's. Yes, because it's, it's, okay, it's cheaper. Yes, and in, in, in Super Selectos is, is like three, three seventy, sometimes four dollars. I thought that at a at a Siman or in Siman was uh, more expensive than um, Selectos. Yeah, me or, too. You would see. imagine you would imagine that it was more expensive, but no, I yes. don't know why. That's a good tip, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's finish this. So let's see. What was that? Was that a bus? Yes. Was that by your house, Irena? No. Oh. Because I thought yes. I thought it was uh, by your house. No. <laughs> No, buses don't pass by my house. Okay. But I have I have a big problem that um near my house is um do you know Capri? Mm-hmm. And it's funny because Capri is very, very old school. They have this big alarm, you know. For the lunch. For lunch and for <laughs> I I imagine they have I imagine, uh, breaks. Yeah, breaks, check in, lunch, and check out. <laughs> I remember that uh, Serena, how is calling it? Alarm, I guess. Alarm, mm. maybe. Mm. And in this I... song, two t shirt. Really? Yes, in Casaltepeque, in front of the, <laughs> the, the main street, is the Corinca factory. Uh -huh. And say, put the alarm in the morning. I the, it's lunch the, for lunch, lunch, and the, in the in the afternoon. You know what? I think I think all the beds in the hospital in Salvador. Mm -hmm. I think all the beds were made in Capri, because in the pandemic, when everything was closed, those people worked twenty four hours. Mm, probably. And, yeah, and I'm telling because like. You hear the alarm all the time. Oh. <laughs> it's like, really, man? At two in the morning, you need to put that? <laughs> and people are always asking, why are they working? Everything is closed. But I imagine they made the beds. Yes, yes. It's funny. Every time. Makes sense. Yeah. Every time they, they um, ring the alarm, oh, I always say, Wilma. But nobody understands. <laughs> Amazing, que es eso? Like, you never watched the Flintstones? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Very yes. good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But, you know, it's, for me, it's good because it's an alarm. Because yes. I, I, start, I start my job at seven. So usually I'm always sitting down in front of my desk at seven and I hear the alarm. If I am in my living room and I hear the alarm, uh oh, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know. It's a good advisor. Yes, it's a good. All right. So listen, let's listen to the call on the radio show. Choose the phrase that best completes each sentence. Tell me if you could hear. Oh, man.
Monica, are you here? Yes, teacher. Welcome okay. to yes, teacher. Ask Eliza, the radio show about manners. Our first caller is Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. What's your question today? Well, I just got a new job, and I'm going to a big company dinner next weekend. All the directors and managers will be there, so I'm pretty nervous. Let me guess. You've never been to a formal dinner before. That's right. And you're wondering what's appropriate and what's considered bad form. Exactly. I just don't know what to say. Well, talking about your personal life isn't a good idea. And asking your coworkers and managers personal questions can be considered inappropriate. So what do people talk about? At these kinds of events, it's typical to talk about less personal topics, such as travel, weather, and entertainment. Have you seen any good movies lately? Yeah, I just saw Crazy Motorcycle Killers. What a great movie. Uh, Killers? Maybe that's not such a good one to talk about. What are you reading these days? Hmm. Oh, I'm reading a biography about David Beckham. It's really interesting. That's better. You can talk a little about that. But be sure to ask questions, too. It's always best to listen more than you talk, especially when you're new. Okay. I feel a little more prepared now. Thanks, Eliza. No problem, Jonathan. And remember, have a good time. Okay, so where is Jonathan going to? A formal dinner. Business meeting. A business meeting. A business meeting. All right, that's her business meeting. It's a bad idea for Jonathan to talk about what? His personal, His personal life. life. Good. The movie Jonathan mentioned is? Not appropriate. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. Not appropriate. talk about. Good. Eliza advises Jonathan to? Talk less talk and talk less listen, more. Listen, listen more. All right, good. Let's do part two. Listen to a news report about a robbery. Then check true or false. And now for our local news. There was a robbery on Friday at Kate's Kitchen, a local restaurant on Beach Street. Kate Miller, the owner and manager of Kate's Kitchen, was counting money late at night after the restaurant closed. According to Miller, two nervous-looking women knocked on the window and asked for help. Miller was worried someone was after them, so she let them in. When Miller opened the door, the women pushed her to the floor and took the money, about $2,000 in cash. Luckily, Miller wasn't injured and is currently working with local police to recover the money. A security video from a nearby apartment building shows two women matching Miller's description running past the door of the building. Police think this video shows the two robbers as they fled the scene. Police also received a tip from two neighbors who were out walking their dogs at the time of the robbery. They saw two women driving away in a blue car. If anyone has any information about the robbery, please call Police Precinct 245. So the robbery took place early in the morning? False. 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 $2,000 were stolen from the restaurant. True. 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 A security True. video shows two women running from the scene. True. True. The robbers drove away in a black truck. Pulse. 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 Está mal. The robbers drove away. Nope. It's away. All right, let's see if we got them right. All right, we are cool. We got them right. So choose the correct word. When someone gives you a gift, blank, thank you. It's polite, it's polite to say, say, polite say thank, thank you. Yes, it's, it's polite to say thank you. It's blank 
to talk about your personal problems at work. It's a bad form to talk about your personal problems at work. Number three, asking women her age can be blank in many countries. Rude. 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 It's blank to brag about your accomplishments. Bad form. Bad form. Bad form. Okay, good. Number five, calling a colleague late at night is? Inappropriate. 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 Good. Number one, instructions. Choose the verb that best completes each sentence. People blank about the recent rise in crime in our area. Have been, have been, have been, have been, talking. been talking. Have been talking, yes. Lately, I blank in a neighborhood crime watch program. I participating. I have been participating, good. Over the past few months, we blanked the police six times. Have called. Have called. Have called. Yes, we have called the police six times. Four, thieves blank into the corner store twice this week. Have, have been breaking. breaking. Have been breaking. Breaking. Have broken into. Have broken into. Have broken into. Have been broken. Have been broken. Have been broken. Well, I would put have broken into. Have broken into. Thieves have broken into. <laughs> to the corner store twice a week. To the corner Has store broke. twice this week. Number five, Ty blanks about moving due to um, high crime in her area. Has told. Been thinking. Been thinking. Has been Has thinking. Told. Okay. Luckily, my family blank any trouble so far. Has not, 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 has she warmed not me, not two. Sometimes they only had. Mm -hmm. She warned it. She warned me not to. She warned me not to touch the oven. She warned me not to touch. Did he ask her to come? King wanted, King wanted to, to know. He wanted to know if he asked her to come. Yes. Kim wanted to know if he asked her to come. You shouldn't eat that. Some advice. Some advice. Some advice. Not, to. not to what? Not to eat that. Good. Sam advised me not to eat that. Number four, interrupting is rude. He explained that interrupting is rude. <laughs> Hey, this product works. The product works. I'm sorry. Yeah, the ad claims that the product works. You should start a blog. Laura, encourage me. Laura, encourage me to start a blog. Yeah, Laura, Laura encouraged me to start a blog. Good. Part two, it says instructions. Read the quotations. Complete the sentences in reported speech. Those are very difficult to me. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay, no problem. I, I think this was your buy. question, correct, Miguel? Yes, teacher. I don't understand because I uh, the verb is, is in the time. I, I had a problem because identity, because I don't... I don't can answer for it. Okay, let's do it. I'm writing with Julia. He told me. He said me. He told me. He was reading with Julia. Writing with you. Remember, remember that. I am writing as present progressive, so we go back. One is past progressive. 
So he told me that he was riding with Julia. He was riding with Julia. He was riding with Julia. Or he was right. He told me he was riding with Julia. With he was Julia. riding with, or with Julia. Or he was with. riding with Julia. Hey, lo mismo. <laughs> he was riding with Julia or he was riding with Julia. No period. <laughs> they forget that. He was riding. Julia. Nancy has never been skiing. He said. Nancy has never been skiing. Nancy has never been skiing. What is the past of he has never? Nancy has never. What is the past? Have, 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 never. have never. So Nancy has never been skiing. I've never been skiing. Number three, is anyone ready to leave? She asked if anyone was ready to leave. Yes. Pam lost a lot of weight. My mother told me Pam lost a lot of weight. Mm, Pam has lost a lot of weight. That Pam lost a lot of weight. That Pam has lost. lost a lot of weight. Yeah, this is what I would put. Yay, we got them all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? Um, maybe it was difficult because honestly, the examples were not very easy. Yes. The examples were a little complicated. What did your mother tell you when you were a little kid? Do you remember? What did your mother always tell you when you were a little kid? Sorry. What did your mother always tell you when you were a little kid? Don't talk. Don't talk to a stranger. Yes, she always told me not to talk to strangers. She always told me not to talk to strangers. Mm -hmm. What did your father always tell you? The same, maybe, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did your teacher always tell you when you were a little kid? The teacher always told me study every day <laughs> the lessons. Study every day. The teacher told me I was going to be arrested someday. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> the All right, good. Next, it says, complete the sentences. Instructions, complete the sentences with the verb in parentheses. Use the past perfect or simple past. Just type the verb in. Do not need to worry about capital letters or period. As soon as I got to my class, my teacher gave, gave, us. gave us a pop quiz. What is as soon as? No gave. Okay. Tan pronto, pronto. Mm -hmm. Como? Mm -hmm. Yes. I got a dog last year. Up until then, I never have. I never have. Never have. have. Okay. have. Uh, number two, teacher. Sorry, thank you. I never had. In the and the first one is without, without L because it's um, in past. 
Yes. Okay. Why, why did I put S? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, number three. Sam and Sue got married on Sunday. Next, the next when. day. When. 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 when they went. My Chinese class went out for dim sun. Before that, I have never, never, never tasted taste, 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 taste it. Tasted it. Tasted it. Tasted it. Tasted it. Before that, I had never, right? Never tasted. Never tasted. Never without, without the eat because without it. it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Lara bought a car this summer. Until that time, she didn't know. She didn't know. She didn't know. She did not. She did not know how to drive. The moment George canceled all his credit cards, he found. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Oh, man. He didn't. Teacher, this is ridiculous. The platform because I don't use contract. I don't. Yes. Contractions. It's good. Yeah, I mean, it, it is correct. And actually, did not is the formal way. Constructions yes. are always informal, but okay, it's the platform. <laughs> Reading. So I'm going to read and you tell me about Benny, Lisa, what did Lisa warn Benny? And what did Fred tell Benny, okay? okay. So listen. Okay, Rick told me that Benny got fired. Earlier today, I overheard Benny talking to Lisa. He said he was going to tell his boss that he wasn't going to work on the Pickens project anymore. Lisa warned them not to talk to the boss, but I guess he did anyway. Then later, I heard Benny telling Fred the same thing. Fred encouraged Benny to think about it first. He warned Benny not to make the decision today because the boss was in a bad mood. What do you think? Hey, do you want to have lunch today? Meet me by the elevators at noon, Jackie. Chambrosa, Jackie. So let's go back. Benny is the boss or Benny got fired? He's the boss. He got fired. He got fired. Lisa warned Benny what? No, to, to make, make a decision, decision today. No, to make a decision today. Fred told Benny that the boss <laughs> was in a bad mood. Good. Jackie asked Kate. To go to, to, go to lunch, lunch with her. All right, good. Part two, it says instructions. Read the email, then check true or false. Okay, it says, dear Anita, I've got to tell you about what happened to me the other night. At the dorm, we have these fire drills from time to time. So what happened was I was exhausted from studying for a test and I was fast asleep at my bed. And in the middle of the night, we had a fire drill. Even though the alarm was loud, my roommate Ling had to wake me up. So we went downstairs and all of the building and all of the building, wait, we went downstairs and out of all the building to wait for the drill to be over. Everyone else in the dorm was outside too. I was so tired and I really wasn't paying attention. The next thing I knew, everyone was laughing hysterically. I didn't know what they were laughing about. To make the long story short, I had gone downstairs wearing my pajamas with little pink hats all over them. And the other thing was I was carrying my teddy bear. I was so embarrassed. 
write soon and tell me what you're up to. Love your big embarrassed sister. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Have you ever had an embarrassing situation like that? Yes. What happened, Irena? <laughs> that it was a very funny teacher. Um, I, I was. Uh, working as a, a clerk mm -hmm. and in a, a customer call no yes a customer called me called me on on my lunch hour and I have an a uh, an wireless uh, headphone yes and in my my brother uh, always always uh, sometimes call called me and the customer say, hello, how are you? And I say, hello, Chibola. Chibola, I don't know how it's called in English. And, and the, the customer told me, um, hello, Jocelyn, this is uh, Mr. Olivares. And I, and I was so embarrassed because he was, uh, I don't know, is correct to say a fat person? Oh, no. <laughs> yes. yes. Was yes. It was for me, and and when I and I when I um tell told to my brother what happened to me, my brother laugh laughing and laughing and laughing a lot, and for me it was so embarrassing that situation. Oh and I God. say I'm sorry, Mister Olivares. I thought that was my brother because your voice is the same like my brother, and, and he told me, don't worry, Aslin, it's okay, but I was like a trágame tierra. Yes. <laughs> One time, many, many years ago, many, many years ago, I used to work in, a, in an institute, English Institute. And um, there, there was a, during the breaks, they always put music. And I remember I my that time my class was basic. It was very basic class. It was like, hi, my name is, what is your name? It was that type of class. But during the break, when I was coming back from the break, when I was going to the classroom, do you know Culture Club? The, the band Culture Club? Yes, 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 with Boy George. Yes, they were playing the song, um, people are stupid, the whole mm -hmm. world's stupid, mm -hmm. and I mean, and, and, and you know, hey, that song, you know, like, wow, many years I haven't heard that song. So I walk in the class, you know, singing, people are stupid, the world <laughs> is stupid. Well, so the, the class finished, and on Friday, they gave me terrible terrible evaluations mm. and my boss called me and he says what is your problem and I said what why do you call people stupid mm. and I said what <laughs> the class said that you were calling them stupid and I said I would never call my class stupid <laughs> think about it and my boss said, yes, I don't understand this. What happened? I don't know. I really don't know. And really, I didn't know what happened. Until like two or three weeks later, I was driving my car and I heard the song again. Hmm. People are stupid in the whole world. <laughs> oh, my God. I, uh, <laughs> I walk in the class singing, mm -hmm. bien fácil. people are stupid. Pero suerte que esa clase aún estaba ahí, solo que no me tocaba a mí. Inmediatamente fui como, hi class, I remember now what happened. And what they said. You know, they said like, oh, okay, yeah, it's okay, no worry. 
but I don't, <laughs> I don't know if they, I don't know if they believe me or not. The majority of the class, they were very advanced of age. Mm -hmm. That's I what told, they, and I, and I probably, told them, yes. They how they hadn't hadn't heard the song. Yes, and there was no smartphones in that time. Or I go, let a canción, you know, like this is the song I was that. Do you remember I walk in the classroom dancing? People are stupid. <laughs> but they imagined that I los estaba Yes. So that was a uncomfortable moment. <laughs> yeah. But Chivola, that's funny. Yes. That, that, that mind was the worst than yours. Yes. Yes, it's oh, true. It was, I, my face got red imagine and then because I didn't have the identificador de llamadas call my caller desire, ID caller ID and, and it was the his voice was equal from my brother and my brother left until today my brother is still laughing when he remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're so embarrassed to me. <laughs> All right, good. Well, yeah, you know, every, everyone has like funny stories. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, there's one, one last story. Um, I was with my coworkers, teachers, and we were all going to the beach early in the morning. And we stopped at Oloquilta. And everybody, we were eating, but we were eating next to this speaker, parlante, speaker, with mm -hmm. this <clears throat> ugly music, like, <laughs> like banda music, but horrible. Well, maybe not horrible, but at six in the morning, it's not. Nice. And everybody was complaining, que fea esa música, and the music, that music. And I was sitting like right next to the speaker and they told me, um, pedí salsa. And I, and I look at him, are you, are you serious? Yeah, pedí, okay. And um, disculpe, excuse me, do you have Eddie Santiago? <laughs> And they told me salsa de poposa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was so embarrassing. Even the people from the pupuseria were laughing. <laughs> I know. It yeah. was very funny. Yeah, that was, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that was like 25 years ago. And every time I'm with my friends, they always remember that. Mm. But the story always changes a little. <laughs> <laughs> like I asked for I remember I asked for Eddie Santiago but the story changes do you have Mark Anthony mm -hmm. do you have Ray Ruiz I'm like, no, it was, any time that you remember yeah it was Eddie Santiago man <laughs> 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 all right so let's do the uh, exercise here it says Maria's dorm had a fire false Ling had to wake up Maria for the fire drill. True. True. Do you know what is a fire drill? Yeah, it's like I don't a, know. What is? It's like a um, incendio. They um. Um, how is People that have a big work in big companies, you should have this. Son simulacros. Mm. I can, uh, okay. Like Mucho Milton, I, I imagine I imagine in your company there should you should practice fire drills, correct? What to do? Yes, it's correct to share. Yeah. I, well I, actually every company should yes. fire drill. Okay. It's time nice for, no. for, for months. Okay. I used to work. Do you remember Dell? Yes. 
but back like in 2005. I see, se ve más llamativo. In 2005, by, um, ah, sí, está bien chulo, se ve más, más it was like in 2005, Dell, when it was by Salvador del Mundo. Mm -hmm. um, there was something funny, no, not funny, it was scary, actually. I think it was the first call center in El Salvador. And what happened was that in that building, también está el ministro de Israel. <laughs> so the Israeli. So one time it was Primero de Mayo. And uh, I remember that FMLN had the typical marcha, right? And the march stopped at, at um, Salvador del Mundo. And then they saw Dell, oh my God, gringos, gringos, company, mm -hmm. gringos. And they started, they started um, throwing <laughs> things to the building. And I remember the, 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 the alarm, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is real. <laughs> Uh, you know, okay. we, yes that was the first and only situation that I was scared like oh my god what happened mm -hmm. but you, you know what happened the police came right Pero la humo, ay, Dios, like, oh. <laughs> but because because there were actual there were gringos gringos in the building and the minister of Israel the embassy of the United States sent their police. Oh man, those people were humongous, like big. <laughs> yes, like wow, it was like a movie. And they had like this um attaches, like back off, back off. Y les dieron miedo, man. Mm -hmm. I think even the cam <laughs> was surrendering, like, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was that was scary because the alarm said, "This is not a drill. This is not a drill." Like it was serious. <laughs> and you know what happens when it's when it's serious? Nobody pays attention. <laughs> yes. I not look yes. at getting like, "Oh yes. my god! Oh my god!" Oh my. Mm -hmm. yes. It's true. When it's a practice drill, everybody is in line marching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when it's real, everybody starts running. <laughs> Okay, next it says Maria was wearing pajamas with bears on them. False. 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 What were what were what was under her pajama? Cats. 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 Very good. Maria was embarrassed because she was carrying a teddy bear. True. True. Here's a secret. I sleep. I still I have a teddy bear. Do, do you know where the expression teddy bear comes from? No. And when you sleep with a bear. Um, do you know Theodore Roosevelt? He was a president from the United States. Roosevelt. Yeah, his, na his name was Theodore mm -hmm. Theodoro Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. One of the famous Roosevelt. Okay, Roosevelt and todo. Mm -hmm. um, he was invited to this event and they gave him the honors to shoot a bear mm -hmm. and he did not want to shoot the bear he did not want to kill the bear and he didn't and everybody respected him for that like hey good it was not necessary to kill the bear so por eso le pusieron Teddy the theater mm -hmm. Teddy bear I didn't know that. Yeah, that, that's why. Porque si no son stuffed animals. What does it mean? Stuffed peluches. Mm. I have mm -hmm. one. I have one. It's very big. It's Pepe La Poo. Es lo único que me quedó de soltero y nunca se va a ir con, a ningún lugar Pepe Lapu. I um yes, I have a Teddy. Um and 
they sleep with me all night. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, that's yeah. cool. I had one from wrestling, Rey Mysterio de Lucha Libre. And it had his autograph and my son took it y me lo arruinó. Mm -hmm. Pero Pepe Lapu, nadie lo puede tocar. Only me. <laughs> It's my favorite. It's the same with my with my bear because uh, it has uh, 50 years. 50? Oh, That's a very yeah. old, 50 años. No. no, no, 20, no, three, two years old is because my, because when I, I, I was born, mm -hmm. my, my uncle, he is the, yeah, he gave me the bird and my bird is, is my, <laughs> My my old friend. <laughs> He's been yeah. with you through everything. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Okay, class, then thank you very much. We'll continue tomorrow and we'll start the next lesson. Tomorrow okay. is Thursday. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, we're good. We're okay. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye